All right, so Portland Bowler Rally, Circuit Gym. Is this your first trip to Portland? Yeah, this is my first trip to this gym. I think I was in Portland when I was, I don't know, 14 or something, but yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe Megan was talking about a comp that was here, Nationals. Yeah. Yeah, for a few, youth, a couple youth years nationals. Ago. Yeah, just a few years back, you know, like, uh, what, two years ago, yeah. three years ago? Who's counting? I'm still young. Yeah. So have you been inside the gym yet at all? Have you no, checked it out? I haven't. I just walked straight into here. So, so sight unseen. Sight unseen. Kind of in for a treat later. When I hope so. It's definitely a different so gym. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, you mentioned you've been climbing for a few years. What what keeps you psyched to keep coming to comps like this? Um. Well, new venues is one big thing. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been to this venue, so if it's a venue I haven't seen, I get pretty motivated. If a lot of my friends are coming, that keeps me psyched. Yeah. And yeah, just being able to travel and see new places that I haven't been is is a big motivating factor. Sure. And do you feel like comps like this are kind of important? They're, the comp scene in America is still sort of finding its legs. This comp, it seems to be building quite the momentum out here in the West Coast. Uh, is that kind of a good thing to see for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's nice to see every year there's sort of a different comp that's up and coming and building momentum. Yeah. And it's good that that's still happening because some years it seems like there aren't as many events. Mm -hmm. So it's good to see sort of a resurgence of, of new venues and new competitions that are the big ones to go to. Yeah, so, it's great to yeah, see. Keep it going. So what's, uh, what's your strategy for qualifiers today? It's going to be more open qualifying format. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, red point format is very different, and I guess my strategy is to go slowly, take my time, not get too, not get too anxious. Yeah, how do you um, pace yourself uh, um, over you know two or three hour stretch? Usually, I I take plenty of time to warm up, and then when I feel ready to try hard things, I try a little bit, but I have to feel everything out first. So. Try not to get stuck on one boulder problem early sure. on. Yeah. Do you, do you find yourself mentally keeping track of maybe how many points you feel like you need to get into finals and trying to kind of watch what the other people are doing? Yeah, definitely. It's it's like That's smart. it's usually Fun pretty smarter, pretty harder. stressful um, format for me because you get to see what everybody else is doing. Sure. Whereas normally an on-site format, you really only have to worry about yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a challenge, but it's a new challenge that I haven't had to deal with in a while. So I'm up for it. Yeah. Um, let's see, who else are you rooting for today? Maybe on the men's side, who you feel like has a really oh good chance of doing well today? Um, I haven't seen the full list, so I'm hoping there's some dark horses in there. Yeah, we like yeah. our dark horses. I like dark horses, so I don't know. Who's who's the dark horse? That's, I don't, that's I, what I'm rooting for that. I'm rooting for that guy. I feel like there's always a mix, and I'm always curious yeah. to see who that might be today. Yeah. Um, a lot I of, guess that's the thing about the dark horse. You kind of you don't always know going in. So that's why. Yeah, that's why they are. Yeah, it seems like that kind of event where somebody could show up that no one was expecting and sort of take yeah. it away. Yeah. And so what's been going on with you otherwise in climbing? It's been a rough stretch in Colorado, <laughs> obviously, with the floods, yeah. and it's great to see that you've kind of jumped in yeah. with the volunteer effort, but it's obviously derailed some of the things I know you wanted to get done yep. this summer. Yeah, it's been a really rough season for Colorado in general. Um, the flooding has been devastating, and all the climbers have you know, sort of basically been shut down. Yeah. Um, Estes Park is one of my favorite places and Estes has been mostly shut down until recently. So it's been a crazy season. No, yeah, definitely so. not anything we would have predicted, but I have come out of it with a new perspective. So that's been really good for me. Great. I'm, I'm definitely disappointed that some of my projects have to be put on hold, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really not a big deal. Yeah, and you're here with Mountain Hardware today. Yeah. Uh, just talk about working with them real quick. Oh yeah, Mountain Hardware is awesome. Um, I've been working with them for a few years, and about a year, a little over a year ago, they um, were kind enough to send me to Greenland. So that was a, a life-changing experience. And yeah, they have a booth here today, so I'm psyched to uh, sign some posters and show people the what Greenland was all about. Well, cool. I'll have to come yeah. get your autograph later. Thanks for cool. stopping by. Good luck yeah, in qualifiers and hopefully right, in finals. Thank you.